power distance. Do you feel more comfortable working in a strong hierarchy or do you prefer a sense of equality with all of your colleagues? This sensibility is called power distance and it concerns the degree to which power is distributed and expected in an organization or other culture. How does an individual or group perceive and respond to inequalities amongst people? In a high power distance culture, like the military or a large law firm or a country like Russia, a strong vertical hierarchy is expected. Think of the relationship of a general in the military to enlisted soldiers, or a senior law partner to a mere associate, or the pope to a parish priest. In a high power distance culture, every person has a defined place and role. In a low power distance culture, say a unionized workforce, a legal services organization, or a country like Norway, there is a strong expectation of equality in power, in decision making, in benefits, and other work conditions. What about you? Do you prefer to give orders, or do you couch them as suggestions? Do you assume your boss, Mr. Gregory, should have a high design, fancy, large windowed office, even though you have only a small internal cubicle? Or do you envision that you and your colleagues are really more or less equal, with your supervisor, Suzanne, being only a little bit more equal, and maybe only a supervisor in name? Your deep-seated assumptions about power distance will affect how you perceive and navigate relationships at work.